Do you like to Euro nymph, but you also love to fish delicious young specials or thread midges or whatever you may call those delicious flies? Well, this one's for you. This one is on a jig hook. All right, this is a weighted version of a thread midge. This is tied on a fully mill jig force hook, the 5045. This is size 22, which to me is more like a 20 or an 18, but I don't care what size it is. It's a great hook, especially for this fly. Um, I've, I've fished this fly quite a bit in this exact configuration. I've done really well with it. So, um, 22 hook, two and a half mil tungsten bead on it. I'll be tying with my fancy Mattarelli bobbin, my Renamed uh, fly tire scissors. And I think that's it. Oh, I'll, I'll throw a fancy whip finish with my Dr. Slick Jumbo uh, whip finisher. But anyway, there is a sequence to this fly to get it to taper exactly how you want it. <clears throat> um, so it's not like you just come in here and start dressing thread on and wrap it every which way. This thread is semi-corded. I believe there are two strands in this thread. And so what I'm gonna do is with it corded up, I'm just going to put it kind of in the middle of the fly and I'm going to wrap forward three to four turns. And then I'm gonna spin it counterclockwise to uncord it and make it flatter. So once I get that, I can go over the top of these wraps that I did. And when I get to the back of it, I don't just trim this tag end off. I continue down two to three more turns on top of that. And then I'm going to trim that off and two to three more turns here. So what that, that, that did is it just created a nice little taper. Very subtle, but there's a taper there. Now I'm just going to take this and spin my bobbin clockwise until I'm really, really corded up. As you can see, I'm keeping my finger here so that the thread doesn't like to, or doesn't jump around too much. All right, so now that I'm corded up, I'm just going to wrap those wraps, touching turns all the way up to the head of the fly. And now up here, I did leave a little bit of room because I'm gonna build a, a little tiny thread head with just black thread. So I'm gonna whip finish this off and the best way to do that is to unwind all those turns that you put into it and whip finish. Otherwise, it will it will want to break. So just two turns, just something to hold it in place until we can get thread on it. All right. And as you can see, it's got that really cool kind of fuzzy look to it. It's not just totally slick. It has a little bit of feel to it. All right. So I'm just gonna take some really fine thread. I think I just have like 12 watt semper fly, which is roughly 70 denier. Get that tied in. No funny business with this tag in. Just cut that bad boy right off. And then I'm just going to build up a little bit of a, a black head. That will kind of, uh, you know, go into where the bead is as well and hold it in place. So very important. Take your favorite whip finisher and throw a whip finish down here and you are good to go. My favorite colors of this fly are this color, the brown, and there's one called straw. It's kind of a creamish color. Works really, really well. Anyway, give them a tie. Give them a fish.